Guys, the film was so fun and so great to watch. What was it about the script or the book that you guys read that said, I need to make this, I need to be a part of this? Well, it spoke to the films that I loved growing up. You know, all of those really great Amblin classic films that were scary, that didn't patronize the kids, that, that had a kind of a message in them, but it wasn't sort of teaching them a lesson like in school. And then I, I also was a horror fan. So it wasn't just the story, it was a chance to work with Eli, because I thought, you know, your sensibility clashed up against this story would be great. And I've always wanted to make a kid's movie, and my version of a kid's movie. And I know that might sound like a surprise, but my favorite directors, like Sam Raimi and Peter Jackson, mm -hmm. who, you know, worked with Kate, um, you know, they started in horror, and then they made Spider-Man and Lord of the Rings. And that was the career trajectory that I always hoped to have. Um, and I thought back to my childhood, and the movies that were the most important movies that I saw in the theaters were those Amblin movies, those scary Spielberg films like E.T., Raiders of the Lost Ark, and other Amblin films like Goonies and Gremlins and Poltergeist. And there was a whole kind of world of these kids' PG movies like Time Bandits and Dragon Slayer that were scary, but more like Grimm's fairy tales. And I just feel like that's a lost subgenre now. There's no movie that parents who love scary movies can take their kids to to get them excited about scary movies. This is a film that you can see with your parents and take your kids to and everyone laughs and is scared. It's like going through a fun haunted house. Yeah, I feel like you guys built this incredible world. I mean, the movie is really, really fun, but there is this element of creepiness to it that you get that I think is your sensibility. For so sure. can you describe that world that you guys have built? Well, I mean, a lot of it and physically. I mean, I think the movie looks incredible. John Hutman's production design was was extraordinary. It was so detailed, all the taxidermed animals, and every corner of the set was filled with some weird, creepy object. But it always amazes me with 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 films is that you can have the best script, script, great cast, great production design, but somehow the atmosphere that you feel on set isn't translated to the screen, and that is entirely direction. And I think that you know that somehow that Eli created this atmosphere on set that was fun and it was buoyant. We weren't taking ourselves seriously, but we were taking the work seriously. But the atmosphere came across. Well, I and look, that's very rare. Thank you. I mean, I, I look at my my favorite films that are you'd say dripping with atmosphere. The films of Ridley Scott, like Alien and Blade Runner and Sebastian's Laboratory. And I always wanted to make a film that was like at the Tim Burton, Guillermo del Toro, Terry Gilliam end of the movie spectrum. Um, but you know what, what I love is that underneath it all, you, you can have the creepiness and what makes it acceptable is that at the end of the day, there is this core message of embracing your weirdness. And I really connected to that. That it's this idea that all of the things that we think make us outsiders and make us strange, that's actually the source of your superpowers. And once you embrace who you are and own that, that's when you are at your most powerful. And that's what the Lewis, our main character, learns mm. to do in the film. And you guys have spoken to this a little bit, but um, can you just tell me what elements about this movie are just perfect for kids of all ages to come and see? I think kids are much more robust and their imagination is darker and weirder and stranger than we often in, you know, in our contemporary parenting world allow that to, to, to be. So I know my kids are like that. So I think this really speaks to that sort of strange roller coaster, fantastic, challenging, scary, but exciting films that you know, children really do want to go and watch. And I love the theme of not just embracing your weirdness, but that everybody has some sort of break in their family and that we are all going to have tragedy in our lives. And how do you deal with that? Do you move forward and find your new family and bring out the best in someone else and bring out the best in yourself? Or do you want to reverse time and turn everything back and wipe it all away for everyone? So mm -hmm. the, the watching these three broken characters, Kate's character who's lost her family, Jack who's left his family and feels abandoned by them, and Owen, who's lost, Lewis, who's lost his parents. Watching the three of them come together and form this little family, it gives you hope that you can overcome any tragedy in your life. I mean, that's the thing. If we talk about it being a scary film, but in fact, the, the three central characters are all quite fearful of something that they have to overcome. And it's not, it's not the things that the audience is scared of, it's something inside them, you know, so they have to be brave. And this movie is all about magic with the witches and the warlocks. Is there some magic trick that you guys have always wanted to perform? I want telekinesis. I really, I really would love to move things with my mind. I would love the power to control when I have to go to the bathroom or not. Like, especially like right before a really long car ride. Or right now. Or right now. 